Welcome to Tasting Wine. I'm Haley. I'm Joe. Today we're tasting wine. We are trying. Oh, Camus. Camus. Camus 1858 from Paso Robles. It is a new project that they have launched. Uh, they do one in Napa. So there's regular Camus, which is fairly well known. That's a Napa vineyard, I think. Um, been around for a while, 150 years. Uh, that's what the label says. Uh, a little they, bit of time. They have started a new project, two new projects, a couple different labels. This is under the Wagner family. The Wagner family produces Camus as their brand. Okay. Um, so yeah, I think I think they kind of just launched a, another wine from maybe a cheaper wine growing area. Uh, that's just a little bit more affordable, you know, put it out in a new label. Yeah, all right. Um, Sounds good to me. Camus is just a really, uh, I would say well-known wine when it comes to expensive wine for people that maybe don't drink a lot of wine or anything like that. It's kind of like the Dom Perignon of California wines, I would say. Yeah, my, I, would, I would agree with that. My, my opinion, you know, it's like, oh, you got a bottle of Camus. It's like, it's this, like ooh. It's this magical thing. Yeah, really Camus. Really good, but uh, some things that I really don't like. About Camus. Anyways, that doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> well, but this one's in Paso yeah. Robles. This is a so, Paso Robles one, yeah. Yeah, so we're not we're not confused. They yeah. just have a new project. Well, my my biggest pet peeve with the regular Camus is, is it comes in a clear bottle. I mean, you're gonna sell a ninety dollar bottle of wine in a clear glass. Right. So, like, one of the like in terms of like storing and you yeah. know, making sure that wines don't go bad is like a dark place. That's why a lot of wines are in cellars and basements and dark bottles and in dark bottles yeah <laughs> so it seems a little counterintuitive yeah to have a, a if you're gonna clear sell a bottle sell a 90 dollar bottle of wine in a clear bottle when it has to be shipped and transported and right. stored, stored just, on shelf. you're asking Sorry. for some sort of like temperamental that really disturbance just, so this one I, I won't say prices until after we try it but uh this is the cheaper it smells like a fruit bomb i know i don't know you, you got the vanilla <laughs> the vanilla <laughs> oh no yeah. no Okay. No, we, yeah, I think it'll be fine. We'll see. Yeah, we'll let it. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll hashtag swirl. Yes. Swirl time. But I can smell it. I know. I can smell from, it here. from here, it is. It is bright cherries. It is vanilla. It's oak. It's tobacco. Tobacco. Oh yeah, that's yeah. heavy tobacco. Okay, yeah. so this doesn't smell as bad. This no. doesn't smell fruit bomb and vanilla. No, it's not a fruit. Literally bomb. from like from here, I could smell it, and I was like, oh no. Yeah. But no, okay, okay, so. Yeah, I don't Rewind, know. Start we'll, over. <laughs> we'll see if it needs to be the camp or not. But no, it's got very pleasant smell. It's very, very nice. Ooh, yeah, that has like cinnamon stick. Like I said, tobacco, black pepper. Cinnamon is a good one. Cinnamon um, stick is a really good one. Yeah, the cherries. It's, yeah. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of like a smoky parlor. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it smells really good. There's like leather on it too. Yeah, it smells really good when you. I mean. Yeah, that actually There's is nice. like, I mean, for a third of the price of the regular, the regular juice, for a smell like this, it's it's standing up pretty well. Yeah, wow, actually, for, this is really cool. It's really complicated. Yeah, Fifty bucks cheaper, but we shall see. Mmm, mama leg. Mm -hmm. I am here for this right now. Yeah, it's definitely gonna need some decanting. It's got a lot of vanilla. In that on the taste? On the vanilla. Yeah, have you not tried it? Oh, no. The vanilla and the vanilla sweetness on the taste. Uh, not in a bad way. I just think you're more prone to those flavors in a negative way. Mm. It, I need it to have, I think it'll get mm. there, but I need it to have more like berries and fruit and cherries and things like that. Yeah, this is actually kind of... <laughs> um. The, the vanilla is like kind of there, like mixed in pretty well in the beginning and like on the finish it's a little bit more of that like vanilla, which yeah, I am a little bit more sensitive to. Um, but it still does kind of have like a little bit of a cool taste. I probably would decant it too. It kind of has like that cinnamon stick, yeah. uh, maybe like a little bit of tobacco on the taste too. It does have a little bit of tobacco on there. It, it, the best way I can say to describe the smell is rich. After trying it and then going back to the smell, it smells rich. Like there's just a lot of hearty smells. I can't say that about the taste yet. The taste is uh, a little bit more subdued and definitely, I think it's kind of tight. I think that we should decant yeah. it. And about 30 minutes in the decanter. Yes. Um, a decanting red wine, never a bad idea. I don't think you can honestly make it any worse within 30 minutes. 
Within 30 minutes, probably not. I think you can only improve it. You can only soften tannins, soften acidity, all that stuff. I agree. So I had to change my shirt. I got wine all Let's talk about the elephant one. in the room. The elephant in the room is this is a new shirt. Yeah. Wine somehow got on the last shirt. Yeah, when you were drinking it. <laughs> yeah, we had fell a, from the sky. We had an accident, so we. That's what the cop. Yeah, we. Me and my shirt. That's what the costume. So the smell, um, I think, is relatively the same. Kind of it's, a little bit more mild. I was gonna say it smells richer. It's it's tamed down, but the, it's rich. It smells rich. I know, you keep saying rich. I don't, when I think of rich, I think of like well, when hearty I, pasta. No, when I so. when I say rich, I mean like when a cake is rich. Like oh, it's got a lot of bold. Oh, it's got a lot of sugar. It's got a lot of icing. Like it's just in, it's intense. You know, like mm. you know, like when you're baking and you say oh, that's rich. Like chocolate. Chocolate is rich. You know, just touch your tissue. <laughs> Like chocolate, chocolate is rich. Chocolate you know? is, is like when you make like a chocolate cake, and you're like, oh, that, wow, that's so rich. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like that's what I say. The smells I think have the gone. Smells, they've gone down, but it still smells. But rich. I think they've like blended. Like yeah. I think that they were like In a, a lot of individual, and now it's kind of like more succinct. I still think it's good. Oh no! I'm I, excited to see what it tastes like now. Though. Yeah. No, the smell is uh, uh, amazing. I mean, for 30, 35 bucks, this wine. Smells. Oh, you announced the price. I did. I did. Sorry, I jumped in. Yeah. 30, 35 bucks? 30, 35 bucks is fine. Okay. Yeah. I would say that this is, I think that this is worth 30 bucks. Honestly, um, when you try this, oh yeah, so it's got like cinnamon, yeah, the taste vanilla, is tobacco, super dark cherries, like almost like muddled dark cherries. If you were to muddle them in like a cocktail or something like that. But this, as an alternative to Camus. I agree. 100% this is a bang for your buck. You can almost, if you try them side by side, like you could definitely tell the difference. But after- Between the Napa Camus and this Camus. Between, re between regular Camus, because they make an 1858 that's from Napa. They, oh. This is a Paso Robles 1858. Very enjoyable wine, very uh, good. Yeah. If, if you like Napa's, if you're more on the side of uh, like Napa over Bordeaux, or French wines, where French wines tend to be more earth, you know, Napa's, California's tend to be more fruit forward, you know, this is your fruit forward with a little bit of those like old wine, leather type of tendency. I think Paso Robles has something special going on. Oh, well, I love Paso Robles. Yeah, I, I honestly, I think it is one of the last unshotted like lands where you can still afford to buy land for a winery. I think this is a fantastic wine. I don't know. I, like I don't know if it's a wine to store. Like I would rather let the let the wine shop store this for me, you know, and just buy it kind of as I want to have it, rather than taking up space here. Because I don't know if I would want to drink this in five years. I don't know how it's going to hold up because it's a new label. Hmm. You know okay. what I mean? I understand. I like to. I would want them to. You know figure out their kinks. I don't know if that makes sense. That's just my thought process. For me, this is a winter wine because yeah. it has like a lot of Warmer. those like, yeah, cinnamon yeah. undertones and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that I don't think- Thanksgiving, I don't think, this is a Thanksgiving yeah, wine. Yeah, like a Thanksgiving wine. Like I don't think I need like a case on hand. However, yeah. I do really enjoy this. Yeah, honestly, like keeping a bottle on hand or two, you know, just to have, but I wouldn't necessarily store, like if I bought, if we bought three more bottles, we'd probably drink them within the next Right. You know I mean? All yeah. right. Hey. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching our tasting yeah. wine. Thank you for watching. Get out there, try this wine. Let us know what you think. I think it's worth it. I think I really do. I think it's worth it. I think it's a good one. All right. Well, let us know what you're tasting. Let us know what we should try next. Leave a comment down below. Uh, let us know if you've had any of the other uh, Camus Wagner family Wagner family wines. Wines. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know if you have suggestions. Yeah. Questions, see you next time. all that stuff. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.